Julie's been voted the most popular at Beverly High. Oh, oh no! This is terrible! What is it, Mandy? Only the biggest disaster ever to hit Beverly High! It says that Sam's been voted most popular! Huh? Oh! Well, there's obviously been some mistake. Everyone knows that I am the most popular girl in school. Why would everyone vote for me? Duh! Because you're smart and funny and totally cool, Sammy. That's why we want to hang out with you this weekend. You, you do? Of course. We just love surrounding ourselves with popularity. Ciao. Ooh, that's it. I am going to put a stop to this madness right away. I demand a recount. Okay, this is officially weird. I got these for you. Oh, thanks, Arnold. You shouldn't have. But you deserve them, Miss Popular. Hey, Sam, did you sign our yearbooks? Me too. And me. Maybe later, guys. Right now, I've got stuff to do. Important stuff. Bye. <laughs> janitor's closet. Yeah, what important thing could we possibly have to do in here? Hide. Sam, I realize that your newfound celeb status may be a bit overwhelming, but trust me, you can't run from the limelight. You've got to embrace it. Now let's get back out there and meet your fans. Not so fast. Ah! For once, I'm actually happy to hear from Jerry. Girls, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. Julia Hastings and Dirk Johnson, the world's top box office movie stars, have been mysteriously abducted. <gasps> okay, I take it back. So, how did it happen? In broad daylight, actually, which is particularly odd. That is odd. I thought stars only tanned indoors under artificial sunlight. Do we have any suspects, Jerry? None at all. That's why Whoop would like you girls to go undercover and keep an eye on Brock Williams. Since he's the third biggest box office star, we suspect he may be the next target. No way! Brock Williams is totally hunkalicious. Yes. I'm glad you're enthusiastic, but remember, this is a very high-profile person. Discretion is key. We don't want the media finding out. Oh, relax, Jer. We're totally professionals. Huh? Oh, my gosh. Those are so cute. They're called rocket fuel mules. They're called fabulous. And I called it. Yes. We also have breathe easy go anywhere air masks, hoop earring communicators, banana clip boomerangs, and that old standby, the jetpack backpack, filled with a few low-key disguises. Thanks, Jer. Whatever. We'll take it from here. Okay, so why am I the gardener again? Because the maid outfit matches my new shoes, and you're a terrible cook. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. Now let's do like Jer said and keep our eyes on Brock. Right. Oh man, this place is so sweet. That's because it's Brock Williams' bedroom. And look, he has a water bed. 
We're supposed to be investigating, remember? You know, looking for things out of the ordinary. Do these count? Hey, put those back. Girls, you might want to check this out. Hello, handsome. Huh? Actually, I was talking about him. That must be the abductor. Come on, spies, we gotta stop him. No time like the present. I'll teach you to abduct very important and very attractive celebrities. What the? Camo Boy's stocking days are over. <gasps> That's Mr. Williams to you. And your so-called stalker is a highly respected photographer. I don't appreciate my hired help attacking the media. I'm not your hired help. I'm a domestic engineer. Besides, I was just trying to protect you. <laughs> From what? Ending up on the cover of some fabulous high-profile magazine? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. My camera's completely ruined. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Look, I'm really sorry. Yes, whatever. Just get back to work, all of you. You okay, Clover? I'm fine, but the is so over. I don't blame you. Brock just went from punkalicious to jerkerific. And clear. Let's go. Huh? We've got to do something. Quick, the brief, easy, go anywhere air masks. Good idea. So, what's the update, Spies? Unfortunately, we just lost Brock, Jer. Oh, dear. Well, we'd better get you home. I'll send the chopper to Toot Sweet. Good. I could use some rest. Actually, I have another assignment for you. Amber Stone, another big box office star, is having a premiere tonight in Hollywood. One of you must pretend to be Amber and bait our elusive villain so the other two can move in and stop him. Well, obviously I should play the part of Amber, you know, being the most dramatic one of the group. Sorry, you're too tall. That's why Whoop has chosen Alex as the celebrity decoy. Alex? Me? We're pressing an Amber Stone facial mask as we speak. Now, in other celeb news, it appears that Sam, in her absence, has been inundated with fan mail. Seems you're quite the overnight sensation. Terrific. <laughs> Testing 
Sam, are you there? I'm here. Now remember, the bad guy used a camera lens to abduct Brock. You could be any of the paparazzi here. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Believe me, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Here comes our starlet now. that clover. So far, no one's taken the bait. The kidnapper probably isn't buying Alex's lame impersonation of Amber. Ah! Guys, I don't want to be a movie star anymore. Clover, you can play Amber if you want. Where's the beam coming from? I can't tell. Keep an eye on Alex while I figure it out. It's coming from the lens of the projector. Ah! Alex is hit! The ushers are taking her! Why do all the cute ones have to be bad guys? Quick, grab him! Not quite. It appears Marco Lumiere used his experimental camera lens on you. Marco Lumiere? Marco Lumiere, a frustrated experimental filmmaker who invented a camera lens which has the ability to freeze its subjects in place. He lives on a secluded island off the coast of South Africa. It's a good bet that's where he's taking Alex. I've arranged for your quick transport. Good luck, girls. Just when you thought whoop technology couldn't get any worse. It's a good thing Alex was abducted, or there'd be even less room in here. Oh, finally some leg room. Now, let's find Lumiere. I think we already oh. have. <laughs> in our stars. You're all probably very curious as to why you've been assembled here. Not really, pal. We just want to get the heck out of here. My agent's probably worried sick about me. Aw, oh, too bad. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. In the past, Hollywood has been very dismissive of my work. Now, I plan on making a film they won't be able to ignore. A film starring all of you. I wouldn't star in your stupid movie if you offered me top billing and all the money in the world. <laughs> Trust me, this is an offer you can't refuse. And if we do refuse? You have no choice. This island is a giant movie set, rigged with traps and explosives, and of course, cameras to catch all the carnage. Who knows? If somehow you manage to survive my... Blockbuster masterpiece? I might even shoot a sequel. First Alex gets to play the role clearly meant for me. Now she gets to be in a movie? When do I get my big break? Earth to Clover, Alex has been abducted and is being forced to play a role. What's your point? We gotta stop this nut before he starts shooting the movie. You distract the thugs while I round up the actors. One, two... Action! <laughs> on my set. Wait a second, you're not Amber. My name is Alex, I'm here to save you. Well, you can start any time now. Follow me. Let's stay in here until things die deep. Could you please not say the word die? <gasps> Let's hide in the 
saloon. Look out! Girls, they're not movie stars. <laughs> You'll come back and visit real soon. Could you please keep a lid on the one-liners? <laughs> Sorry. Gotta lose these losers. There's our ticket out. <laughs> Exactly why I use a stunt double. Those girls are good. Looks like I found some fresh young talent to exploit. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Lumiere's cronies. Wait a second. It's just a mechanized prop. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, props are getting so convincing these days. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Some of his friends. Run! Look out! Estimate the power of a good accessory. Grab hold! I have a plan! <laughs> Looks like we're in the clear. And I thought those soldiers were bad. Yeah, these guys look twice as mean. Except for the part where they're wearing revealing mini skirts. Normally, when I'm surrounded by a mob of crazed men, they're trying to get my autograph. Something tells me these guys aren't fans. What's going on? Not so fast, Lumiere! That is a wrap. Excellent work, girls. Yeah, thanks to you, we can get back to being stars instead of seeing stars. If you ever want to consider a career in the movies, give us a call. Oh, now huh? that you mention it, as a child, I always did fancy the thought of myself on the big screen. Perhaps I'll take you up on that offer. Oh, too bad they don't make silent movies anymore, Jer. <laughs> 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 Just enough time to make it to the janitor's closet. You know, if you run. <clears throat> Attention, everyone! I have a very important announcement to make. After recounting the official ballots, I have found that there was an error in the tabulation. As I suspected, I am the most popular girl in school. <laughs> Should tell her about the janitor's closet. No way. Hey, where's Alex? I don't know. 
Maybe she's out sick or something. Weird. I mean, you think she'd at least have called one of us. Help! Alice? Don't bother. No one can help you now. Good on East Wing, over and out. Hey, who's there? Huh? 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 Code Red! Code Red! Robbie Guthrie. Who? Robbie Guthrie, as in my grade school nemesis. Girls, our perfect day has just been ruined by a dark cloud. I think he's kind of cute. Cute? Alex, the guy is a total loser. <laughs> he tormented me for years. He was always doing mean things to me, like pulling my pigtails and putting <laughs> kick me signs on my back and shoving worms in my lunchbox. Well, get over it already. Grade school was like a really long time ago. Yeah, Clover, people change. Oh, please. I'm sure he's the same old jerk I knew in third grade. As a matter of fact, I'm going over there right now to give him a piece of my mind. This should be good. Robbie Guthrie? Clover? Clover? Is it really you? The one and only. And P.S., you can stop drooling any time. Sorry, it's just you look a lot cuter than you did in grade school. Whatever. I'm serious. As a matter of fact, why don't you let me take you out this weekend? We can catch a movie and get reacquainted. I don't know. Come on. It's the least I could do for being such a jerk to you when we were kids. I don't know. Okay, let's do it. Great. I'll call you. <laughs> so, what happened? I'm going on a date with Robbie. Okay, that was unexpected. Way to let go of the past, Clover. Uh, yeah, are you kidding? I'm only going out with that creep so I can get back at him. I'm gonna give Robbie a taste of his own medicine. Now, how shall I do it? <laughs> this better be important, because I've got some serious revenge plotting to do. <laughs> oh, it's important, all right. Someone's destroying energy plants around the globe. Wow. Creepy. Indeed. Not only have we lost the Hoover Dam, we've lost several electrical and nuclear power plants as well. Actually, the creepy thing I was talking about was the fact that you were eavesdropping on our conversation. People will soon be without heat and electricity. It's sure to be chaos in the streets. And I wasn't eavesdropping. I just happened to overhear. So who do you think's behind this, Jer? We don't have any leads yet, but we'd better come up with something quick as the effects of this crisis are quite disturbing. The next suspected target is the South American pipeline. That's where your mission will begin, Spies. 
then, what are we waiting for? Load us up. Of course. Today you'll be utilizing the Whoop Turbo Submarine, the expandable cable bungee belt, now in a more stylish faux snakeskin, heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, and a tube of high gloss moisturizing lip stalk. You mean lipstick? No, I mean lip stalk. A lipstick with a built in tracking device. Excellent. <laughs> now, prepare for departure. <laughs> should be close by. Thinking we just found it. Either that or we've just collided with the world's largest sea snake. <sighs> Looks pretty boring to me. Still, we better get a closer look. And keep your eyes open for anything out of the ordinary. Ew, does that qualify? Gross, what is that thing? Looks like some kind of spider. Then I say we catch it. It's not a spider. It's a bomb. Somebody's trying to blow up the pipeline. Looks like they're about to succeed. Not if I can help it. Wait! If you hit the pipeline, you'll pollute the entire Pacific Ocean with oil. Right. Hadn't thought of that. Well, if we can't squash him, then we better relocate the little creep. We can't thank you enough. By the way, who are you guys? I'm Pam. This is Alice and Crimson. We're spies from Whoop, the World Organization of Human Protection. I can't believe it's really you. This is just too good to be true. So, let me get this straight. You used to have our jobs? Until we were captured by the villain on our last mission. Edison. He held us prisoner on a remote crater island for seven years. Judging by those outfits, I'd have guessed it was even longer. <laughs> <laughs> we looked everywhere for you girls. And when we didn't hear from you after a few years, we assumed you were, well, you know. Well, we're back now, Jerry, and everything's going to be just like old times. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever happened to Edison? We were able to escape, but we weren't able to capture him. Unfortunately, he could be anywhere. And how did you end up at the pipeline, exactly? <laughs> Spies, we've got another emergency. This time, it's a hydroelectric plant. We're all over it, Jerry. Actually, this would be a terrific opportunity to reassimilate Pam and her crew. Why don't you all go on the mission together? Okay, sure, whatever. We'll check out the hydro infuser sector. You girls take the lower level. They sure seem to know their way around here. Hello? Hey, Clover. So, I was thinking maybe we'd catch that new monster movie on Saturday night. What's all that noise? Oh, I'm at a salon under the hairdryer. A monster movie sounds great. Um, I'll meet you at the mall around 8-ish. Later! I'm picking up something. So am I, Saturday night. <laughs> Sorry. Spiders. Why can't it be a ladybug or a butterfly bomb instead? Wow! Isn't this place so cool? <gasps> no! I lost the bomb! Oops. Sorry. There it is!
I'm afraid the outlook isn't good. We haven't been able to detect any trace of the girls. If there's anything we've learned over the years, it's that this job has a way of weeding out the weak. Guess that just leaves our unit now. I know you girls did all you could to save them. Now that they're gone, you're my number one team again. but I feel like I just went through the spin cycle. <laughs> I can't believe we're still alive. No thanks to the old spies. But it was just an accident. We're made to look like an accident. Let's get back to Whoop. <clears throat> it was my pleasure to have known Sam, Clover, and Alex. No, that's not right. I was fortunate enough to have known Sam, Clover, Don't and Alex. Don't people generally write eulogies? After someone bites the big one? Girls, you're alive! And ready to get back on this case. Actually, I have wonderful news. You're officially retired. My original spies have taken your place. I don't want to be retired. I never even got a chance to have a midlife crisis. It's a done deal. Now you'll get a chance to enjoy your lives like regular teens. And the world is in the capable hands of Pam, Alice, and Crimson. There's something real fishy about those girls. Whatever are you talking about? Think about it. Why did they just reappear at the pipeline? And why did they know their way around the hydroelectric plant? I think I understand what's happening here. You do? Yes. <gasps> Obviously, you girls are jealous of my original spies. Who can blame you? They're wonderful. But I trust those girls unconditionally. Might I suggest an acclimating back to civilian life seminar? Us? Jealous? As if. Those girls are dirty. I wouldn't be surprised if they were planting bombs as we speak. Actually, they're in Eastern Europe, aiding civilians in the rebuilding of their destroyed power plants. I gave them their gadgets and they left a couple of hours ago. Those girls never pass up a humanitarian mission. On second thought, I think we would like to take that seminar, Jer. Mind if we hop a whoop jet? My car's in the shop. Not a problem. Why we're going to some lame seminar while those spy wannabes are stealing our jobs. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Get real, we're not going to any seminar. I have a hunch those spies aren't on a humanitarian mission. I just hope Jerry's gadgets included lipstock. Bingo. Good thinking. Looks like our girls are on Crater Island in the Arabian Sea. Isn't that where they said they were held captive all these years? Yeah, which is odd, considering the island has been barren since a volcano erupted there ten years ago. Let's check it out. Rebuilding power plants, my foot! Look at this place, it's barren. Totally. This island is just a big, useless piece of rock. <laughs> okay, so maybe this island isn't so bad after all. Yeah, the kind of place I wouldn't mind being held prisoner for, say, seven years or so. Someone's coming. Ugh, you gotta love this 24-7 sunshine. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a little R&R &R after wiping out a few power plants. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, girls. Thanks to your hard work, we'll soon be the sole proprietors of the world's energy supply. And not even those loser junior spies could stop us. If you ask me, Whoop's talent pool is really slipping. Right, those? <laughs> Easy, Clover. Company. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Who says you can't teach an old spy new tricks? I can't believe you traitors have the nerve to call yourselves whoop spies. Really? Where's your pride? <sighs> it's not quite so simple, ladies. You see, when I first met the spies many years ago, they were wasting their time fighting for the cause of good. I then liberated them with my behavior-modifying electronic spinal splints. Now, they are helping me pursue much worthier causes. Ew. And I thought belly button piercings look painful. Why do I suspect your goals aren't all that worthy? Mm. You 
be the judge. Half the world's power plants are now inoperable. Soon, they'll all be reduced to rubble. Destruction for the sake of destruction? It doesn't make any sense. To the contrary, it makes dollars and cents. <laughs> when I extort the nations of the world for the use of solar power. Ouch. I thought Jerry's puns were bad. Duh. The sun is free, Einstein. Uh, correction. The sun was free. And it's Edison. With my orbital override machine, I can control the Earth's rotation and sell sunlight by the hour to the highest bidder. <laughs> oh, time to go to my ocean platform and start the auction. So long, girls, and uh, no hard feelings. Yeah, don't hate us because we're the better spies. Don't worry, we've got plenty of other reasons to hate you. Well, this should be easy to get out of. Usually the bad guys leave us in a hopeless predicament. <laughs> Just reach my calm powder. Hello, ladies. So very lovely to hear from you. Jerry, you've got to help us. Wait a second. You're not the real spies. Huh? This line is only to be used by legitimate whoop agents. Rude much? Thanks, Clover. How'd you do that? I see fresh liquid nitrogen breath spray. Good thing I always carry a backup gadget. Ha! Come on, let's go save the world. I think that's quite enough sunlight for Russia. But they paid for two hours and it's only been an hour. Prices have just gone up. Besides, I wouldn't mind a little sun for myself. A good tan. Ugh, it's you brats again. What's the matter? Looking for someone to change your diapers? Eliminate those girls once and for all! all those great gadgets in my day we had to make do with our brains and our brawn when was that the stone age <laughs> oh. you girls about ready to give up not before we reintroduce you to an old friend oh. quick get that creature off of my machine before it explodes I feel like so gnarly. Trust us, you're doing a lot better now than you have been for the past seven years. Oh, hey, Edison's getting away. Not so fast. Isn't there any way I can convince you girls to stay with Whoop? 
sorry, Jerry. We've had enough whoop adventures for one lifetime. Besides, we decided we wanted to help rebuild the world's energy plants. We can't help but feel a little responsible. Um, hurry up and fix the plant in Beverly Hills by Saturday night, because <laughs> I have a totally hot date. Thanks for helping us out, and for all the cool fashion tips. Hope you're not angry about the nasty things we said about you. Well, we weren't really ourselves. Don't worry about it. We understand. Yeah, we forgive you. Now, um, Jerry, on the other hand... So, you're serious? You decided to give Robbie the benefit of the doubt? That's right. I'm giving up my plans for revenge. If there's one thing I've learned this week, it's that people can definitely change. I'm so proud of you, Clover. Clover, you made it. Hey, Robbie. I'll catch you girls later. Have a seat. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> oh, <yes. laughs> That's disgusting! <laughs> I can't believe it! I can still get the best of you after all these years. <laughs> we'll just see about that. in record time. Think of how much more time we could have saved if those pedestrians would have just stayed off the sidewalks. Huh? Oh. Huh? <gasps> cool motorcycle. Who's the intense biker babe? That must be Donna Ramon. I heard she was just released from Juvie. <laughs> Looks more like she escaped from Juvie. Come on, guys. I'm sure she's perfectly nice. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Alex. I don't think we've met. You know what happened to the last person who touched my ride? Let's just say she eats her dinner through a straw these days. <laughs> what a coincidence! I like protein shakes, too. Uh, gee, look, there goes the bell. See you around.
I'll just use the entrance at the other end of the school. Ugh, what a stressful day. I hope I never see that thug again. At least they're serving my favorite lunch today, soy cheese pizza. I'll take huh? that. Hey, give me my pizza back. Not a chance. Way I figure, you owe me lunch money for a year after what happened today. Alex, you're not going to let her extort you like that. Yeah, stand up for yourself. Uh, I, I'm not going to pay. In fact, I want my pizza back. <laughs> On second thought, you can keep the pizza. I'm going to turn you into my own personal hand puppet. Teacher. You're lucky for now. But tomorrow at 3 o'clock, you're dead meat. You hear that? I'm dead meat. Don't sweat it, Alex. I'm sure this will all blow over. Well, when it does, give me a call. Until then, I'll be at the North Pole. Can I offer you girls a sandwich? No, thanks. We just ate. Some of us did. Have you ever heard of a television show called Fight? You mean that wrestling show that takes place on the island? That's the one. Fight. Fear Island Gladiator Habitat. Fight. I love that show. What's up? Well, it seems that what's up is one of the contestants, an Olympic decathlete named Reggie Willis, hasn't been heard from since losing on the show last week. I wouldn't mind getting lost with him. He's hot. Yes, well, in addition to being hot, he's also supposed to represent the United States in the Olympic Games next month. Which brings us to your mission. I want you girls to go undercover on fight to find out what happened to him. Undercover in what capacity? As contestants, of course. I was afraid he'd say that. And now for your gadgets. Zipline bracelets. Parachute belts. Mini ski aerobic sneakers. Laser heat hair dryers. Buzz saw wristwatches. And lip balm smoke bombs. Ooh, I could use a little lip relief. <laughs> Enjoy the mission, girls. This is Fear Island? I don't see anything scary about it. I stand corrected. Vince Kings and I am promoting human combat is my game. You must be our new contestants. That's right. I'm Sam, and this is Clover and Alex. Terrific. Let me give you the grand tour. Fight is an international sensation. It's seen in every nation of the world. Every terrain of the world is represented on my island. Fight has the most fantastic playing field in any sport ever conceived. This is remarkable. Arnold, has Donna cooled down yet? Did she call up the fight? Are you kidding? Things are just starting to heat up. Smart money's on Donna, but you're an attractive long shot. Ooh. So, Mr. King, um, have you heard about the disappearance of Reggie Willis? Probably afraid to show his face in public after his brutal defeat at the hands of my merciless gladiators. Brutal? Merciless? Are you saying that the fighting on your show is real? Well, of course not. It's just showbiz. All of our action is choreographed and safety is a premium. <laughs> Hit the dressing room, ladies. Suit up and meet me on stage. The show starts in an hour. And I thought Sam's driving was bad. <laughs> what is this? A wedgie suit? Tell me about it. I wonder everybody on this island wants to fight. Now, let's meet the contestants! <laughs> the lovely Sam, Alex and Clover will risk life and limb to try and win this! The covered in fight belt! <laughs> But first, they have to make it past my highly trained, hand-picked international gladiators! Are you ready? On your mark, girls! Get set! 
Release the wolves! Wolves? Pick up the pace, girls. Those wolves look awfully hungry. And we look like lunch. Please, King said this is all just showbiz. These pups wouldn't hurt a fly. Huh? Huh? Ah! Apparently, no one told the wolves it's only showbiz. Great, what now? Climb up. Huh? Is there still time to throw ourselves to the wall? Get off my back! Moisture eyeliner. Over there. Huh? What do I have to do to get rid of these guys? Get your hands off me! I'm not your prom date. <laughs> This outfit isn't dry clean only. Hmm? Hello. What do we have here? Huh? Whoa! This island has everything except a mall. There she is! <laughs> City? Oh well, never look a gift horse in the mouth. How's the mission going? Just great if you're into running for your life from homicidal gladiators. Bad news. It turns out several more athletes who competed on fight have seemingly vanished. That's not hard to imagine. Gotta go. Collection for some relief from this heat. Ouch! Oh, not exactly what I had in mind. Thing. This is the farthest anyone's ever made it! Who are these girls? <gasps> Sammy! Alex! Yay! You're alive! Just barely. The island's crawling with those muscle heads. <laughs> Ow! Clover? 
You can get off me any time now. I got a hunch that Reggie never left the island. Not alive, at least. Well, the quicker we find out what happened to Reggie, the quicker we can get ourselves off this island. Maybe the underground captives can give us some answers. I saw them in the sewer when I was running from the gladiators. Weird, huh? Come to think of it, I saw something weird, too. A satellite was following me down by the river, and then suddenly it disappeared. Does this qualify as weird? It came off one of the gladiators. Looks like some kind of electronic collar. Prisoners? A satellite? An electronic collar? King is definitely up to something. I think it's time to talk to the prisoners. They're the only people on this island who haven't tried to destroy us. For being glamorous international spies, we spend an awful lot of time creeping through stinking sewers. Wait a second. These people look familiar. That's because they're professional athletes and probably former fight contestants. And now King is keeping them here to work on his island. We gotta save him. Great! Who's gonna save us? I've gotta hand it to you, girls. You've got the moves, you've got the skills, you've made it further than any other contestant on fight. But most importantly, the audience loves you. Excuse us if we don't seem appreciative of your compliments. That's okay. You can show your appreciation by working as warriors on my island. And once I whip you into shape, I think you'll make fine gladiators. Yeah, as if. You must be out of your mind if you think you're going to turn us into gladiators. Oh, I'm not. But my temperament collars will. Huh? I can control the moods of every gladiator on the island with a remote control. I can make my gladiators as docile as kitties or as vicious as cornered pit bulls. And you do it all from the comfort and safety of your studio. You never even have to get your hands dirty. That's the idea. Fit them with the collars. I need to check our ratings. I don't know how to repay you. You saved my life when you fished me out of that frozen lake and pulled my collar off. That was you? There's no need to repay me. But FYI, I like foreign movies, white roses, and chocolate. <laughs> Rude way to show your appreciation, Sam. It's her collar. It's been activated. You'll never capture the fight belt. We gladiators will never allow it. We've got to save Sam. How can we while she's under the power of that collar? She's got that crazy look in her eyes, like when there's a half-off sale at the mall. If we can't take off the collar, maybe we can block King's signal. If we can only find the origin. Wait a second. Maybe the signal has something to do with that satellite. I've seen the satellite, too. It's worth a shot. This isn't right. They're supposed to have collars on. Let's see how they do against my gladiators now. There it is! How are we going to take out the satellite with those super gladiators out <gasps> there? If we could just get past them, maybe we could scale the cliff. If we only had a decoy. Oh! Why am I always the decoy? Hey, knuckleheads! Here I am! Think you can catch me? Stop it! No one wins on my show. My gladiators are unbeatable. I'm unbeatable! Huh? What do you say I take that collar off and give you a nice, relaxing massage? <laughs> nice shot! Too bad rock throwing isn't an Olympic event. You'd win the gold for sure. 
We were best friends. You'll never get the belt. No one beats me. Reggie. Hey, King. Your gladiators are the biggest wimps I've ever fought, and I'm going to win that belt. Yeah! that island of fighting gladiators and back in Beverly Hills. I am so ready to give peace a chance. <laughs> you ready to rumble, wimp? Listen here, you big Neanderthal. I've been chased by wild wolves, had boulders thrown at me, and fought gladiators all night. So if you want a piece of me, let's Hmm. For a bony runt, you're pretty tough. Hmm? I am? I mean, you bet I am. Hmm. I didn't know you had it in you. Guess you're cooler than I thought. We're gonna have to get you a ride. We are? Cool. Well, at least something good came out of all this. Yeah? Like what? Now that Alex is getting a motorcycle, I won't have to ride to school with you anymore. Oh. Ta-da! What do you mean? <laughs> most photogenic? She'll be on page three, the first face everyone sees when opening their yearbooks. That would be a total disaster. Which is why everyone has to vote for me. Hi, I'm Clover. I'm running for most photogenic. And remember, a vote for Clover is a vote against Mandy. <laughs> This isn't quite the ocean view I was expecting when I was invited on this luxury cruise. Yeah, and where's my jacuzzi suite? 
This is no cruise. It's a rotten scam. No, not a rotten scam. It's an evil plan. Terence? Terence, darling! Welcome all to my new headquarters. From here, we will vanquish Jerry and the spies once and for all. Nice digs. If you're a sardine, I can't make this scene. I got a boogie. Fine, off with you then. As for the rest of you, I'll return you all to the cold, clammy, whoop jail cells from whence I sprung you. Splendid. Now, allow me to introduce Myrna B's bottom, Elga von Guggen, uh, Boogie Goss, and Tim Scam. Welcome to the League aiming to menace and overthrow spies. You realize that spells lamos? <sighs> Blast! It's too late to change it now. I've already printed all the stationery in t-shirts and key fobs and the uh, We're keeping the name! Now, down to business. Who has a plan to take out the spies? Come on! Work with me here, people! Ideas? Anyone? Hmm. Hey, uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. How about... Oh, oh, um. I know. We'll replace their entire wardrobe with inflatable clothes. That three little twits will float off into space. <laughs> Next. Okay, I got it, I got it. We implant micro speakers into their heads, then blast them round the clock with music. It'll drive them nuts. It seems Lemos is an appropriate name for you after all. Wait a second! <laughs> I've got it! Hmm. That's right! Vote Clover for most photogenic! Remember, every vote counts, so why not vote twice? Clover, you look as bad as Mandy! Uh, I know! Campaigning is brutal on the complexion, which is why for my page three photo, I am going to fab photography. They've got a hairstylist, a makeup artist, fashion coordinator, aromatherapist, we get the idea. To prepare, I'm going straight home to unblock my pores. You mean, you don't have a date tonight? Campaigning is tough on a girl's social life, too. What about you two? What's your excuse? I can't believe it. When's the last time we were all batting zero? <gasps> don't look now, but I think we just hit a triple. Oh, I think I'm seeing triple. Hi, I'm Clover, and you guys are totally huh? uh, new here, uh, aren't you? We just started today. I'm Skylar. These are my brothers, Tyler and Wyler. We just moved down from Canada, went to Wellesley High in Calgary. Oh, you're so far from home. Oh, well, maybe we can show you around town later on. That'd be great. Guess we'll see you girls around, eh? Oh! Oh, I can't believe it! A Canadian for each of us? <laughs> Maybe our luck is changing for the better. This is considered luck of parents! Hello, super spies. Oh, killer wheels, Jer. It's the Nuco Cycle 9000, Whoop's first nuclear powered motorcycle. Or at least it will be when it's finished. Spies, I have some disturbing news. Terence has escaped. <gasps> escaped? Sounds like you let him get away on you, Jer. And curiously, four other arch villains have flown the coop as well. Do you think there's a connection? Knowing my crazy brother, we can't rule it out. Who knows what they're up to, so you'd best stay on your guard. And for your protection, here are your gadgets. Ahead for cover hoverboard, an ultra-sensitive hearing microphone communicator, itty-bitty mini-bombs, and finally, a brand new gadget, the reverse polarizing hair clip. It can reverse electrical flow in any cable, and it's cute as a button. And now, Super Spies, gadgets are all well and good, but I hope you've been keeping your new Super Agent martial arts skills up to snuff. We sure have! Wait, the right ambience. Ah, uh, yes. 
your all-important social lives. Well, don't forget, super agents. Watch your backs. <laughs> You can just feel the dualistic quality of the- Muted colors matched with the sharp angular curves representing- Humanity's struggle for peace- In an increasingly dangerous world. Vanderfloops is definitely my favorite sculptor. Mine too. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> That's quite a manly grip. Check it out! You look amazing. Do you really think so? You'll definitely win most photogenic now. Oh. <gasps> hey! Let's get our picture taken so we can document our cuteness. Smile! Ah! Where are you going? A major sugar rush. And boy, do I need it. How come we're all so white? Hot guys usually make us feel great. Maybe it's because they're a little too hot. Skylar had one major fever. Or maybe it was that goop on my leg. My X powder says it has a major negative charge. Well, if it isn't the trio of terror. Sick Clover, how's your campaign going for most photogenic? Thanks to this, I'm gonna win big time. Fab photo. Huh. They did my picture too. They're the best in the biz. They might even be able to make you look halfway decent. <laughs> you got your headshot done there? Why don't you let me turn that in for you? After all, I am on the yearbook staff. And you're on the yearbook staff? May the hottest hottie win! Oh, there go my chances. Come on, we've got to focus here. I think something's freaky about Skylar, Tyler, and Wyler. Freaky? 
but Tyler's my soulmate. <sighs> well, before you exchange friendship rings, let's see if we can find out more about them. They said they went to Wellesley High in Calgary, right? That's weird. They didn't go there. Nobody goes there. There is no Wellesley High in Calgary. I say we go to their place and get the lowdown on them. You guys have a lot to learn about trust. going on here. It's like we just snuck into our own house. Still believe Tyler's normal? I guess not. Unless he really is my soulmate and he decorated his room as a shrine to me. Okay, this is beyond freaky. This was just like my room. It's even got my kaleidoscopic carpet. What's with these weird tubes? I want you to infiltrate Whoop headquarters and destroy Jerry once and for all! Where are they going? To get Jerry. We've got to stop them! But how? We're losing energy by the second. Wait a minute. Uh, you're so right, Alex. That hair clip totally doesn't work for her. No, it's the reverse polarizing hair clip. We can use it to reverse the energy flow in these tubes. Great thinking, Alex. Uh, almost there. Got it. Ah. Wow! I feel like I just had a double espresso mocha grande. I guess that'll have to do. Let's go! Yeah! 
Gladys? My sensors register tension in your upper back, so I switch to Whispering Pines. What? Stop right there! How did you learn the triple flip sandwich kick? These super agent moves totally rock! You seem oddly familiar. Wait, what are you doing? Get ready for like a major header chair! No, you'll expose us to the nuclear fuel! Okay, fun's over! Drop him, boys! Now! Next time, Sam, please just say let him go. Here, fellas! Catch! Like, totally take cover! No! It'll break the glass! Not so fast. I may be old, but I'm limber. Yeah! Oh. Let us go! <sighs> Don't you realize you'll irradiate yourselves as well? Like, so what? Of course. They're plasma-based robots. Radiation doesn't affect them. But intense light does. Right! I'm glad You got it. Get them into the deep freeze. You're not coming out until you've cooled off. Good work, super spies. Now we must... Wait, they're getting a transmission again. Gladys, amplify the signal. I said attack my plasmatic trio. Smooth move, Bees Bottom. Got any more bright ideas? Is that Tim Scam? They failed me. And you failed me. Terrence! They're all working together. Looks like they really are out to get us. You see, it's important you all stay on guard. Uh, speaking of important, I've got to find out if I won most metagenic. Huh? <laughs> Well, Clover, the votes have been counted. Time to see who truly is most photogenic. And I have a feeling it's going to be me. Gee, that would be a big shocker, considering you're on the yearbook staff and all. Bev High students, don't forget to pick up your new yearbook. We're happy to announce this year's winner of most photogenic is none other than Mandy. <gasps> to win the contest and make Mandy mad. Ah! Oh, no! There wasn't enough room on the page, so they combined our photos. Ah! All my cute parts are mixed with your hideous parts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Congratulations, winners. Welcome to Sam Study Secrets Part 1. If you really want to do well in school, you've got to master the art of cramming. For tests, I mean. First, the supplies. Books, personalized paper, pink highlighter, and plenty of freshly sharpened number two pencils. I like the ones with the fluffy pencil toppers. Okay, now for your attire. Comfy jammies are crucial. Booties, optional. For snacks, I like veggie chips and a nice cup of hot Mexican cocoa. Ready? It's time to get to work. <gasps> right after my favorite show, Passion Hospital's over. Bye!